What up, Freedom fans? Jonathan here with you today, and we have Shark Shield, what was Shark Shield, now Ocean Guardian, and I've got Scott with me, and we're gonna talk about how to keep sharks so that you never see them again. Right? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'll still see them. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, so with um, Shark Shield and is now Ocean Guardian, um, what, what is Shark Shield? What is Ocean Guardian? Okay. So I guess the name Ocean Guardian was really, it's a greater ambition to protect people in all uh, ocean sports, okay. um, but also protecting marine life. So Shark Shield was created in uh, 2002, so the Natal Sharks Board in South Africa uh, developed a waveform that um, would deter sharks uh, with an electrical field and then they developed a product which was not commercially possible um, but then Shark Shield as a company in Australia um, licensed the patent from the Natal Sharks Board and turned it into a product that people could actually use. So what was the original in South Africa they were using it to do keep sharks away for it was So the Natal Sharks Board does, uh, they have uh, 58 miles of netting, drum lines, Ooh. things like that. So they're protecting uh, South Africans along the beaches from shark attacks from grey okay. whites. Cool. Um, so they also wanted to look at, um, I guess, less invasive ways of protecting people. So electrical deterrent was a way to do that. Because the nets were causing bycatch, I imagine. Exactly. Yeah, they were killing a lot of bycatch um, and not always effective, actually. It's been shown the science that nets wow. don't actually work that well. Interesting. But then this electronic deterrent now made the difference and has helped it dramatically. And I assume that's gone up in South Africa across the world. Or? Uh, so they're still netting, but uh, I guess as a personal deterrent, which it's always been a personal mm -hmm. deterrent. So I guess Ocean Guardian, and we changed the name from Shark Shield to Ocean Guardian because we're looking at now going to um, protecting large areas. Mm -hmm. We're looking at beach barriers. So oh, protecting wow. hundreds of meters of beach with an electrical wow. deterrent. Okay. Um, so yeah, for safe swimming areas, safe right. swimming areas off the back of boats, things like that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you mentioned it went, then went to Australia, became yep. this product, right? It did, yeah. Um, so a little bit about this kind of electric current. Sure. What in the world is happening here? Okay, so what we're actually doing is we're using the seawater as a conductor. Okay. So all of our products have two electrodes, no matter what style it is mm -hmm. and this one here we have two electrodes and we're pulsing between those two electrodes with a waveform that we have a pattern on and that waveform uh, shocks the shark's ampule of Lorenzini so that is the shark's sense to be able to navigate uh, and also detect prey at a very short distance hmm. okay. so we basically overpower that sense and it turns sharks away um, so typically our products work from uh, 10 to 20 feet okay. uh, radius. Some of our larger products work um, larger. Um, and so we're pulsing between here and as the shark comes within the field, it will turn away and just keep a safe distance from you. Gotcha. So a lot of people, they ask the question like, you know, okay, once I have this on my body, it's this magical force field, right? Yep. Um, and I think that's something that we definitely want to make sure that our viewers understand that it's not this like impenetrable shield that comes yep, around sure. you, but it is uh, my the favorite way I like to describe it is it's like a good flick in the nose, right? It is. Uh, and if you've just eaten lunch and you're not very hungry, well, a good flick in the nose is going to keep you away from <laughs> from a snack. But uh, but you know if you haven't eaten and you see a you know if you're a carnivore and you like a good juicy steak, right? right. You haven't eaten in three days, uh, then that's not that flick in the nose is not going to deter you from coming and checking that out. So we have we have a lot of uh, independent research. So a big part of our company is we say uh, it's scientifically proven. Uh, we have five, six now uh, independent scientific uh, studies, papers written by universities all oh, wow. over the world um, saying that Shark Shield definitely works. The results vary um, from it's increasing the time that it, uh, a shark will look at coming into a bait um, to the fact that um, we've had baits that weren't even touched by it um, wow. because of the Shark Shield. Interesting. Um, one of the studies was uh, towing a sealed decoy in the back of a vessel. Uh, this was done by the South Australian Research Development Institute and they did uh, 189 tows behind a vessel uh, in Seal Island, South Africa. Uh, that's where the sharks breach out of the mm -hmm. water so it's deemed to be the worst kind of situation. Fair enough. And with the shark shield off there were 16 breaches 
okay. and 27 surface interactions. Then we turn the shark shield on, there are zero breaches and only two surface interactions. Wow. So significant that reduction. That is a huge difference. It is, yeah. Oh. And so, so was there bait on that or just literally a silhouette? A, it was a seal decoy, yeah. Okay. So yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah that's solid. Okay. Decoy to, to look like a seal. But no actual like flash or blood or anything like that? No, no not okay. in that situation. So other situations uh, that typically will chum the water, mm -hmm. um, put a piece of tuna on, on a unit. Um, the most recent study was done by the um, Flinders University in South Australia. Um, it was one, on one of our surf products. So they looked at uh, surfing products because there was no testing done around that. A lot of testing was done around the Freedom 7, mm -hmm. um, but not our surf product or okay. other surf products. There's magnets on the on the market that right. portray that they will protect they you from shark bites and yeah. things like that. So the in university studied all of those and found that Shark Shield was the only deterrent that actually worked. When you mentioned they, they chum the water and they have the tuna, and so what were kind of numbers that you saw with some of the studies there. So the University of Western Australia did one study, so it's just a static bait um, with a bait there. So they had 321 shark interactions with the bait. Uh, with the shark shield turned on, um, not one shark took the bait, um, wow. one shark bumped the bait, but didn't come back. Literally so just one shark? One shark. And 320 Correct. without it? Great whites, yes. Jeez. So it's, a shark will keep a perimeter. Right, right, right. So what we say, this is a safety device. It's not impenetrable, sure, as you said. Sure. Uh, so if you have sharks coming around and they're becoming more aggressive, obnoxious, like mm -hmm. all sharks are, as we all know, right. um, it's it's a safety way to get out of the water. Wow. Um, the shark shield has proven to be 90% um, effective. Okay. The seat belt is only 50% effective. Will wow. you wear a seat belt driving? Every time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. that's where we... Uh, wow, how interesting. Um, and then um, I've heard also like different species work different ways. So like sure. a lot of my spear fishermen are probably going to ask the question, well, you know, when I shoot cobia off the back of bull sharks, uh -huh. or if I'm just shooting any fish species in general, is that going to mess with my fish that I want to spear? No, nope. only sharks, uh, predatory sharks have the ampule of Lorenzini. So okay. the gel filled sacs in their snout. So, uh, Rays also do, or skates have that same sense as well. So does a platypus. Um, you don't have them here, but they're not vicious either. Um, <laughs> okay. Not like all Australian animals. <laughs> but um, so it doesn't affect fish. Okay. Uh, so that's where spear fishes, which is our biggest market, really um, love it because it doesn't affect their fish, but it can keep sharks alive. Interesting. So, and uh, are there different species of sharks that it doesn't affect? Uh, there's some. Uh, Particularly bottom dwelling sharks in Australia, we have wobbegong, uh, okay. grey nurse sharks, things like that. So the less, uh, I guess, um, aggressive, aggressive really, the yeah. shark is, the less chance that the ampule of Lorenzini is as well developed as in a, uh, a great white, the bull shark, tiger sharks, things like that. So they're all well tested. And it really and is messing with that. It is. Gotcha. Yeah, it it's does. Yeah. Sensing. No one knows exactly how it affects the shark. It is not a long-term effect, so we don't hurt the shark long-term, but they will not penetrate that field. Oh, interesting. In 2002, the Natal Sharks Board in the University of Pretoria, uh, Pretoria had a shark uh, shield, or uh, sorry, that was the shark pod, and not one shark was able to take a bait. So, so where it was bait within the... It was bait directly in between the two electrodes. Okay. Um, chummed waters, everything like that, so right. they were not able to take that bait. Wow. And this is just so for everyone understanding, like, because I've seen some of the videos and we'll have some of those mm -hmm. up on the, the, the screen. Sure. But basically, this is not like an enclosed environment either. They're not like bringing sharks to the cage and then putting them in no. the cage. They're letting this happen in open ocean. Craig, like, it's a the, real deal. Yeah. The problem is they always have to chum waters to attract sharks. Well, sure. So, sure. you know, spear fishing, okay, are you in chummed waters? Maybe not. You have a, uh, right. a fish maybe dying a on single the end of your spear, fish, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So, the way it's tested is uh, a lot worse than the normal situation would right. be, but okay, that gives us a little safety factor. Right, exactly. Too, right? Yeah. If you guys have one shark that bumps the, you know, the equipment, and none or three hundred and whatever it was, twenty something, yep. uh, without it, I'm gonna take those odds. Like, sure, absolutely. You know, um, so that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so very very cool. And then. Um, you mentioned you have like a handheld, uh, a wearable for spear fishermen, uh, and then some other items that you guys have. You said to mention a surf option. Yep, so we have a surfboard option as well. So that was released in uh, 2018. Okay. Um, so then that was tested again in 2019. We'll show some video of that working as well, cool. which is very cool. Um, 
and now we're moving into boating products as okay. well. Uh, and then uh, probably in a year or two, we'll be doing beach barriers. Wow. Marine. We um, actually just got uh, our first um, project for a, it's a jetty in Busselton in Western Australia. It's okay. a beautiful marine envi environment for diving and okay. fishing. Um, and it's obviously notoriously bad for fatalities from great whites. Wow. So yeah, we'll be. So you're going to be like literally creating a barrier to keep to help keep the the, the shark attacks down. Absolutely. Wow, yeah. how crazy. Um, awesome. Well, Scott, thank you so much for right. telling us a little bit about Ocean Guardian and sure. what you guys offer. Uh, if you guys did find value in this content, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you've got someone who is a terrified scared of sharks but they really want to get in the water uh, share this video with them and have them know that there is an option to get in the water and uh, and it's scientifically backed up it's proven it's not just like hearsay from uh, a guy with a cool accent right um, so we will see you guys in the next one Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you guys did find value in this content, please be sure to smash the like button. And if you guys have any questions on any of the content that you saw in this video or any of our other videos, be sure to leave a comment and we try to answer those as soon as we can. Also, any of the products that you guys did see in this video, you can always check out on our website at flfreedivers.com. See you in the next one.